Today we're going to be going over Tanatos WoW, a brand new server to the private server community. As you see here, I have the website up because I'm going to go through the features with you. So if we go here to server information, we're not going to give them cookies because cookies are bad for you. But right here it shows all of the unique systems that the server has to offer. I did not see any uh, trailers as of right now, so you're not going to see any uh, trailers right yet. But if we start with the unique systems, first of all, this server is going to feature Classic, TBC, and Wrath of the Lich King. But I don't think this server is going to be too popular considering all of the you know, servers that are coming out as of late, but not to worry because if there's not enough people to play with, one of the systems that they have is the NPC bot system, which will allow you to, you know, obtain NPCs to level with you out in the world as well as in dungeons. Uh, right here, they have the individual progression system, which basically helps keep you on track you start at tier one go to tier two three four five six and so on so it, that's more for people who are not sure of where to go next but chances are if you're playing a private server you're so deep into world of warcraft you know which tier is which but either then uh you have account wide gear so if you find a bind on pickup item that maybe your current character cannot use but an alt can you can deposit it into a account wide bank which will then you know allow you to withdraw it from an alt and then you can use it there so the next one is the reforging system so that's pretty much how it sounds like if anyone's played i believe it was mr pandaria that had the reforging system where uh if you didn't like a certain stat you could take it away and then add another one which you do like uh to an extent of course it wasn't completely perfect uh, they do have a bunch of challenge modes. Some of them are, you know, typical that we see on other servers. You have hardcore mode. You have slow and steady. You have Iron Man, which is basically hardcore mode. But you also have pacifist mode, which sounds interesting. Diet mode, which may... I guess that means, like, you can't eat or drink anything, which sounds cool. Uh, randomly attacked mode, that sounds pretty interesting as well. Nomad mode, I don't know what that entails, but that sounds pretty cool as well. They will have a reagent bank, so no more taking up bank space with all of your reagent parts. Going down here, they will have custom world events. So, participate in a dynamic event that reshape Azeroth's landscape from scourge invasions in major cities to hidden treasure hunts across the world. These events offer unique challenges and rewards. Battle powerful bosses and earn exclusive currencies and uncover rare items, engage in seasonal festivities and world events that provide special mounts, titles, and other unique rewards to enhance your adventure. They will have account-wide mounts, reputation, currency, and achievements. I personally do not like those kind of systems, but it's there if you like it. The transmog system will be available, and judging by this picture here, it looks like a more modern version rather than a slapped-together one like some of these other private servers are doing. Scrolling down, they will have a reward point system, so chances are i don't know for sure but chances are you will be able to buy points in order to spend them but in essence you will be able to earn them by probably doing these world events and spend them on unique items on that same topic there will be custom world bosses so you will be able to fight more than just the emerald dream drakes and such there will be a solo looking for group system. So just as I said before with the NPC bots, they will join with you into dungeons so you can do it completely solo and will not have to wait for other players to join, making the queue times a lot less, as well as not having to deal with asshole tanks and stupid healers. Extended holidays, which I'm not sure why that would be needed, but go ahead for it. Now you've got two or three weeks of Halloween instead of one week. You have the Spectral Griffin Mount while you're dead. So when you die, instead of running back, you can now fly back and get back to your body faster than before. I don't know if this will be for only flying zones or if this will happen everywhere. I'm assuming it's going to happen everywhere. As they say, explore Azeroth's world even after death, which kind of suggests that it will be everywhere. 
dungeon respawn system so you will be respawning at the beginning of the dungeon if you die within it which i personally do not like this system um in servers at all i think that the run back is a punishment system that kind of wants to keep you from dying that's the entire point of it does it need to be on the other side of the zone no i think it's a little too harsh but a run from taraho to razor friend crawl never hurt anybody they will have the death knight class available as this will host both the vanilla tbc and wrath of the lich king expansions so yes the death knights will be available another system that i personally don't like in private servers but this one will have if you are into it is the ability to choose whatever racial you want so you can customize your racials to your liking and that's pretty much it for Tanados WoW. I've gone over pretty much all of the features, at least all the ones that are listed there. I don't know if there's anything that is not listed that happens to be on there. I personally am not going to be playing this server. It does look very interesting, but I am just playing way too many servers right now. However, if you are interested, they do have the website right here. I will try to link it in the description down below so you can register it and play if you like. Anyway, short little video showing you off a brand new private server, and I will see you next time.